you guys welcome back to my channel thank you again so much for watching i hope y'all are having a great sunday so far um so we're gonna be doing a fun look today i've already done it on my right hand so i'm going to show you guys on the other hand how i did this look um obviously already done this one uh this hand has already been um old products been removed got those halloween colors off um, already filed, shaped, and also did my clear base coat. Um, I do one dip of a clear base coat every time before I start my colors. So I've already got all of that prepped and ready to go so we can actually start dipping and doing the colors. Okay y'all, so for the green, um, this is a Mifa Mefa O2 dip powder. I really like their stuff. I get it on Amazon all the time. I'm not actually sure. It came in a set of a bunch of different colors. It says at the bottom DP10BME043. So it might be shade 43. Um, but it is a nice green color. Like this. It turns out like this after about three dips on your nails. So we're going to, ooh, we're going to do this on um, all of our nails except for our middle and ring finger just to start. Um, so just get these dipped like just normal, regular color, um, and then we'll come back to the fun nails that we're going to do after. Okay, so to start dipping, um, all you need is your dip powder. You're going to need a little brush. And then you're gonna need, for this step, you'll need the, the base coat, uh, step one, and then activator, step two. Um, I use this Ben Nail brand. Um, honestly, it's one of the cheapest ones I can find. It's on Amazon and it's never done me wrong. I've been using it for about nine months now and it works great, so. So y'all, when we are dipping, I always start and just paint about half of the tip of your nail first with a good coat. You're going to dip that in the powder gently and then tap off the excess. And then this is when your little brush comes in, you just sweep the rest in there. And if you're putting an even base coat and you're dipping gently, it should turn out pretty smooth. So next, I'm gonna go just a little bit farther down. And y'all bear with me, um, this is almost out, so <laughs> I'm going to have to be going back for more each time. Gently dip it in. And brush off the excess. Now we're good to go all the way down to the cuticle.
you looks like that one little spot I missed. Now that everything's covered with the green, we're going to go ahead and finish um, pointer and pinky. Okay, now after we finish these three fingers with the green, we're going to get our step two, the activator. I'm going to go ahead and put a coat on each of these. Yeah, my dog's hair gets everywhere this way. So I just go ahead and put some of this on it so it'll start getting hard. Now, so we are going to dip the um, middle finger that we're going to do the sparkle on there. Um, we're going to dip this one green but we're not going to do a full three dips. So I'm just going to do one that's about half and then one that's all the way down because we're going to be putting sparkles down there so we don't want it to get too thick and look unnatural. With this one, we're going to go ahead and go all the way down. And I'm also going to go ahead and throw just a little bit of activator on this one. Okay, so now we are done with the green. We can go ahead and get that out of the way. And now we're going to be working with the sparkles. And I actually use a different brush for sparkles because sometimes they get stuck in there. So this is my sparkle brush. Okay, and what I'm using for sparkles today, this is just a palette with a bunch of different colors of, you've got large, medium, and tiny sparkles. I'm going to be using this like yellowy gold one today. And then this here, um, I love these. It's, the name of the brand is Akir, A-K-K-E-R, A-I-K-K-E-R, sorry. <laughs> um, but I got a really cute package of about maybe 12 or so different um, sparkle colors and these are actually dip powders so they have the clear with them in it um, this is just a it's called shimmer gold just a regular gold sparkle with the dip powder in it 
Now, this here is just regular craft glitter, um, so there is no dip powder in this. You would have to add it into something like this or add like a clear base to really get that to stick onto your nails really well and have stuff to be able to sand and file um, and just hold it into your nail. So I'm going to kind of use a mixture of all of these to get this look that I did over here. Um, I have, these are little dipping trays that you can use when you're doing other people's nails so that they're not dipping straight into your main stuff. Um, you could also use anything like a coffee filter or even a, um, little muffin cup uh, works great and you can just dump all of those sparkles back into your container after you're done with them. And then I'm also going to be using for this, um, this is a cuticle tool but it also works as, I call it my handy dandy shovel. So first we're going to be just dipping this nail, we're going to make it completely sparkled out the whole thing. So I'm going to start with this one um, that I have that has the clear dip powder in it. And I always like to mix these so you get an even amount of dip powder and sparkle in each dip. So the sparkles get chunky as they are. I don't really get concerned with doing the top half first and then the bottom because then they, they just get overly chunky at the tip if you do that. So we're going to dip this in like a normal color here. And then swipe off the excess. Do another coat here. I'm going to get my shovel. on the nail and then dunk it back in here. Still not sparkly enough for my liking, so I'm going to do this time I'm going to pour both of them. Here we go. Much better. Okay, now for, let me get these out of the way. If, you, if you've ever worked with sparkles, you know as soon as you're done, 
close those suckers up because you do not want that stuff to go everywhere. Okay, so I've got my yellow open here. Good coat of base on there. I'm going to tap these as well. Some of these really big sparkles you kind of have to either place or maybe take some off because I don't want too much. Then, once you've got it like you like it, really wipe this thing off because I don't want any of these sparkles in my clear. Gently swipe this over and try not to knock them off. Wipe the back end. There we go. Okay, y'all, so after we are done with that, we're gonna get our activator out. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and run through and do another coat on all of my nails here. And just give that a second to dry. Okay, y'all, so um, before I go about doing this sparkle on my middle green nail here, I'm gonna go ahead and file it with my drill and get it how I want it so everything's all smooth before I put that on. Okay, so I'm starting with my drill and just a regular sanding band. There's not a whole lot that needs to be done on this now, but I can see a little small line that I want to file out.
Now I'm gonna take my sanding band off. Put a little tipped ceramic band on there. Okay. Now I'm going to get a file and do the edges really nice. And then get yourself your little block. Okay guys, so I went ahead and just filed all of my nails here. And so now we're gonna do the uh, fun sparkle on the middle finger. So we're gonna get the same three sets of sparkles that we were using before, so it matches the other nail. Grooming our little stump tray here. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some polish of the base coat down on the cuticle and up the edge here. We're going to get our shovel. We're going to gently tap. And then we're going to get some of our chunking. Sparkles. And we're going to get our sparkle brush and just swipe off what didn't stick. Which is 
Now we're going to get our base coat again. Add a little bit more. And I'm just going to grab some of these chunky sparkles out of here because that's what I have it there for. Okay, that looks about good. I'm gonna wipe my little shovel off really good. And just lock this in. I need to get a thing of tweezers. Y'all, one of my dog's hairs is stuck in my nail. There we go. Got it. Okay, make sure you get all your sparkles closed. You don't want those spilling anywhere. All right, now we're gonna do this activator on all of our nails. One last time. And make sure you really let this activator dry before you put on your your uh, shiny top coat. <laughs> I had to get rid of this brush here. Um, the whole middle of it chunked up like a rock because I accidentally started painting my top coat on um, when my activator was still wet. And so the activator got in the top coat and made it really hard. So we're going to let this dry and then we're going to put the top coat on there. Okay, now that our activator is dry, we can go ahead and do the final top coat. And you just paint this on like any normal.
Oops. No, I just got that all over my finger. And when this stuff dries, it's like freaking super glue. Just wipe that up as much as I can. I'm gonna go back and put a second top coat. done thanks again for watching y'all um please like and share this video subscribe to my channel so you can watch um any new videos that i might put out um i'm always looking for suggestions if y'all have anything you'd like to see me do please comment and i would be happy to make a video for that Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye.